So now let me quickly explain the LCD connections for this project. In the next lecture, I'm going to explain what is the significance of these pins of the LCD. So in this lecture, let me just explain the connection. The LCD module has 16 pins. This is a 16 cross 2 character LCD and it has got 16 pins. The first pin is the ground pin of the LCD. You just connect it to the ground point in your circuit. Now the second pin is the positive power supply to the LCD module. So which you connect to your positive power supply of the circuit. Actually it needs 5 volt for its optimal operation. All character LCDs actually require at least 4.5 volt. Now the third pin is to tune the LCD contrast about which I will explain it later. So third pin you just leave it. This is to do with uh, contrast setting. So actually you have to connect the pin number 3 to the potentiometer. So I will talk about that a little later. The fourth pin is register select. So you just connect it to PD0 pin of the STM32 discovery board. Because this fourth pin needs to be controlled by the software by using a GPIO pin. So that's why the RS pin has to be connected to the GPIO pin of the microcontroller. So in this circuit connection, we are going to use PD0 to PD6. After that, the fifth pin of the LCD is read-write selection. You connect that pin to PD1. And uh, sixth pin is enable pin of the LCD. So you connect that to PD2. I will explain the significance of these pins in the next lecture. After that, pin number 7, 8, 9, 10 are unused. Actually, these are data lines. Basically, this character LCD can be driven in 8-bit parallel data mode or 4-bit parallel data mode. In this circuit connection or in this project, I am going to use 4-bit parallel data mode. So that's why these pins are not used. Don't use them. The pin number 11 is D4, that is data line 4. You connect that to PD3. D5 is another data line connected to PD4. D6 is another data line connected to PD5. And D7 is another data line connected to PD6. So these are data lines. After that, this is a 15th pin. It is actually the LCD's LED anode. Basically, this LCD has backlight LED. You connect this pin number 15, which is LED positive. That is backlight LED positive. You connect that to the 5 volt power supply. And pin number 16 is LED negative, And you connect that to the ground point. That's the connection. And now let me talk about this pin number 3, which is used for contrast setting. So for that, you have to use 10K potentiometer. This 10K potentiometer has uh, three terminals. The middle terminal is called wiper. You need to connect that to the contrast pin. And these two terminals are for ground and positive power supply. Actually, there is no polarity on these two pins. So you can connect this to ground or you can connect this to ground. It doesn't matter. So, But just one pin should go to ground and another pin should go to positive power supply. And middle pin should go to the contrast pin of the LCD. When you just turn this knob, you know, the resistor actually changes inside this potentiometer. So which actually changes the voltage at this wiper line. That voltage actually affects the contrast pin of the LCD and that's how the contrast can be varied. So that's how you should make use of the potentiometer to uh, change the contrast of the LCD. Now in the next lecture, let me explain the significance of uh, the LCD pins.